Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, I will be talking about what is an atom and how to determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. Are you ready? Let us begin. What is atom? An atom is the smallest particle of an element that has all the properties of the element. They are the building blocks of matter, sort of how bricks are building blocks of houses. Atoms are composed of three types of particles, namely, protons, electrons, and neutrons. Of the three subatomic particles of atom, electron is the lightest and extremely small. It is located outside the nucleus, and the symbol of electron is E negative, whose charge is negative 1. Atoms contain particles with positive and negative charges. The symbol of protons is P positive, and it carries a positive charge, which is positive 1. Protons are located inside the nucleus. Like protons, neutrons are also one of the three main particles that make up the atom. Neutrons are found inside the nucleus and have no charge. The massive part of the atom comes from the masses of protons and neutrons. Of the three subatomic particles, neutron is the heaviest. While the number of protons is fixed for an atom of an element, the number of neutrons may vary. Atoms having the same number of protons but different number of neutrons are referred as isotopes. The isotopes are identified through their mass number which is the sum of the number of protons and the number of neutrons in an atom. For example, consider the two isotopes of carbon below, C12, and C13. The atomic numbers of carbon in the periodic table is 6. Since the atomic number of carbon is 6, therefore, the number of protons and electrons of C12 and C13 are also 6. Because the atomic number is equal to the number of protons and is also equal to the number of electrons. To find the number of neutrons, subtract the atomic number from the atomic mass. Since the atomic mass of carbon is 12 and the atomic number of carbon is 6. 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Therefore, number of neutrons of carbon 12 is 6. To find the number of neutrons of carbon 13, the atomic mass of carbon, which is 13, minus its atomic number which is 6, is equal to 7. Therefore, the number of neutrons if carbon 13 is 7. Remember, to calculate the number of subatomic particles in an atom, use its atomic number and atomic mass or mass number. The number of protons is equal to the atomic number, which is also equal to the number of electrons, if charge is zero. To find the number of neutrons, the number of neutrons is equal to the mass number minus its atomic number. To compute for its charge, charge is equal to the number protons minus the number electrons of the set element. Here's another example how to predict the structure of any element on the periodic table. Let us use the element below as an example. Be is the chemical symbol, or the abbreviation, of the name of the element. Beryllium is the name of the element. Of the two numbers, 4 and 9.0122, the smaller of the two numbers is the atomic number. The atomic number of beryllium is 4. 9.0122 is the atomic mass. To find the number of proton, look at the atomic number. The atomic number of beryllium is 4. Therefore, the number of protons of beryllium is also 4. To find the number of neutrons, subtract the atomic number from its atomic mass. The atomic mass of beryllium is 9.0122 and if you round it of, 9 is the atomic mass of beryllium. The atomic mass of beryllium which is 9, minus its atomic number which is 4, is equal to 5. Therefore, the number of neutrons of beryllium is 5. To find the number of protons of beryllium, look at its atomic number. The atomic number of beryllium is equal to the number of protons and is equal to number of electrons. Since the atomic number of beryllium is 4, therefore, the number of electrons of beryllium is also 4. Look at another example below. B-6 is an isotope. B is the symbol for boron. If you look at the periodic table, the atomic mass of boron is 10.811. 
But that is not the atomic mass of B-6 isotope. Instead, 6 is its atomic mass. To find the number of electrons, look at the number of protons and the atomic number of boron. The atomic number of boron in the periodic table is 5. Since the number of proton of boron is 5 and its charge is 0, the number of electrons therefore is also 5. To find the number of neutrons, subtract the atomic number of boron from its atomic mass. The number of neutrons of boron is equal to atomic mass of boron which is 6, minus its atomic number which is 5. Therefore, 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. The number of neutron of boron therefore is equal to 1. For Mg-24 isotope, Mg is the symbol for the element's name of magnesium. 24 is its atomic mass number. To find the number of neutrons of magnesium, subtract the number of protons from the atomic mass of isotope of magnesium 24. Neutrons is equal to 24 minus 12 is equal to 12. Therefore the number of neutrons of magnesium is 12. To find the charge of magnesium, subtract the number of electrons from the number of protons. Charge is equal to number of proton minus number of electron. 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. The number of charge of magnesium therefore is 2 or positive 2. And lastly, to find the number of electrons of fluorine, look at the number of protons P plus on the table above or look at the periodic table. The atomic number of fluorine based on the periodic table is 9. The number of protons is also 9, as can be seen on the given data above. To find the number of electrons of fluorine, since there is a charge of negative 1, the number of electrons of fluorine is equal to the number of protons minus its charge. 9 minus negative 1 is equal to 10. Therefore, the number of electrons of fluorine is 10. To find the mass of isotope of fluorine, add the number of protons and the number of neutrons. 9 plus 10 is equal to 19. The chemical symbol of fluorine is F. Therefore, F19 is the isotope of fluorine. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.